Okay, uh, today I just wanted to go over the FileWave Engage application. Uh, this application is an iPad management tool uh, for teachers to use and uh, it integrates with Skyward so all of your class data is already into um, this program. Uh, it also uses your Google uh, username and password uh, to sign in which is all integrated uh, within the Clever application. So once you sign in for the first time, it retains that information, so the students won't need to enter that information each time they go in. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, right here you can see I have a uh, student iPad, and on the desktop they will have an Engage application. They can just go ahead and select that. This iPad has already been signed in uh, one time, so what they will do is click on this login with Google. And it will take them into the Engage application. Uh, now over here on the left hand side, this is the teacher interface. Uh, a teacher has the option to use their iPad. Uh, and it's basically the same interface that you're going to see right here. Or they can use any browser. Uh, so for today's example, I'm going to go ahead and just use the browser. Uh, once you're in here, you can see all of your students uh, that you have select, or associated with a classroom. Uh, today, I only have one iPad signed in, so we're only going to see one active. Um, but you have a couple of options in here. Uh, one, you can clear the passcode. Uh, so if you have an iPad that uh, is locked and you want to unlock it, uh, you can do so uh, by selecting this clear passcode option right here. One thing we need to do though before we get started is we need to activate the class. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this class and we'll say that it's finished time is going to be at noon. So we'll activate it here. And let's go ahead and jump into some of the actions that we can do within this program. Uh, one of the nice options in here is the eyes up front. This option will basically render the student's iPad useless uh, until you grant access to it. Uh, so, so for how it works, what you'll do is you'll select uh, the iPad or iPads uh, that you want to do this action with. You'll just click on the button and you'll uh, type in your message here. So we'll just say pay attention and I will send that to the device. And as you can see the device has this little pop up here uh, with my message in it and the student cannot get out of uh, this message or this screen uh, until you come back over here and click reset actions. Once you do that, uh, the student's iPad will be uh, able to be used by them again. Uh, another nice feature is the single app mode. Uh, now what you can do in this is select uh, the iPad or iPads that you want to send this to. Uh, the students will need to have the application already installed on their iPad uh, for this to work. Uh, but what you do is you go in here and you can say I want all of the students iPads to open up uh, Google Drive. So I'll select Google Drive and hit launch application. One thing to note, this is not an instantaneous uh, like the eyes up front uh, is. This will take just a few seconds, usually about 30 seconds or so and it should be up. And you can see over on the student iPad it's uh, already launched into Google Drive. Uh, so now the student uh, can use Google Drive. Uh, they can't get out of it. It's, it's stuck in this application uh, until you take it away. Uh, so what I'll go ahead and do, and do now is I'm just going to take them back into the Engage application uh, so we can continue. Another feature you have is the mirror to device. Uh, so if you have one student who has an iPad that you want to show across all the students' iPads, uh, you can select this option and choose the students uh, that you want to mirror their uh, device to. I only have one iPad associated uh, on this classroom right at the time, so I, I can't go into detail on that. Um, but it, it kind of works the same way the eyes up front in single app mode would. Uh, another nice uh, feature on here is you can create a poll. Uh, so if you want to ask all of your students a question, uh, which I created this one already ahead of time, you can 
kind of go in here and see how it looks. You can type in your question, uh, you can type in your responses, and then you can go ahead and save it. And then that will be saved in your polls here. So I can send this poll out to my students. And you'll see on their screen the question will pop up uh, also with the answer choices. So they can choose their answer and hit done. And then you can go in to the polls and you can look at the results. Uh, so you can see how everybody answered that question. You can see who got it right or wrong. Another thing you can do is you can send messages out to one iPad, several iPads, or all the iPads. This is different than the eyes up front because the student can get out of this message. Uh, it's just a little note you can send to them. And then another really nice feature is this uh, send URL. So if you have a website that you want all of your students to go to, you can send this out to their devices. And you can see over here on the uh, student device, it pulled up the Google website, which is what they sent them to. You can also associate content in here. Uh, so in this example, I shared a uh, Google Drive uh, document, and I shared it out to my students. So that'll just give them access to it if they need to get to it. Once you're done, you can just hit deactivate class. And now the student's iPad is theirs again. Uh, you don't have any control over it, and they can do what they need to with it. That's really uh, the brief overview on how Engage works. And that's all there is to it.